Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Friday again, so that means another time lapse slash tutorial question mark video. And this week was very interesting. Let's start with things I wanted to do and, well, didn't go as planned. I was working on a gouache piece, however, it's still not finished and I wasn't feeling it uh, this week with gouache. My gouache met me who said, nah, I, I'm not feeling it, don't wanna, hey. so that sucks. I thought, well, I want to post another video on Friday, so what to do, what to do? The idea arrived in my head and I thought, well, colored pencils are fine as well. And not just any ordinary white paper with pencils on it. No, 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 no. Let's work with black paper. So that on itself is a challenge. However, <laughs> I was recording it and I was happy drawing and I got happier and happier until I saw the results on my camera. I was one hour in and I checked the videos and they were all blurry. I did focus at the beginning of the filming, but probably out of focus took over and decided, nah, nah bro, it's gonna be blurry as, well, you know. I was not amused, <laughs> let me tell you about that. However, I still had much work to do on the piece and I decided, well, I can go in halfway and show you what I did in that final part. So that's also the reason why you don't see me sketching with pencil on the black paper first, because that footage is just so blurry. You can't even read what's on the pencils, so that sucks. Anyhow, let's get drawing into a happier <laughs> outlook. I am using black paper, which I bought at a supermarket. And there was some materials for cheap there and I thought, well, I want to have this. It's already a few years old, so I'm not sure if they have it anymore. And I'm using my Prismacolor Premier pencils. Um, they aren't the most perfect pencils, I would say. They are very enjoyable, but I prefer the Derwent Soft color pencils or the Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. However, the Prismacolors are amazing for art on darker paper. They almost glow on it, so that's why I like to use them for those scenes. Another thing about Prismacolors, you have to sharpen them quite often. They have a very soft lead and within no time you have to sharpen them again. Well, with the black paper it wasn't too bad, but if I'm using it on white paper, I used it a bit, it, it was so... the points were so... They, they just quickly faded away <laughs> in front of me. So that was interesting. So that's why I tend to use those for other projects. And for this piece, I was sketching in the afternoon after my gouache piece didn't work out the way I wanted. And I wanted to draw dancers. So I got my mobile phone. I opened the internet browser and I was looking for interesting moves. And I scrolled, I drew for drew a few, few poses uh, in my bullet journal <laughs> because there are so many pages left. I can use those. And I use pen. Oh, it's lovely to sketch with pen sometimes. And then it hit me. I saw some beautiful dancers, male and females. And some of them had beautiful fabrics, really flowy, light fabrics. I'm not sure about the material, 
maybe some chiffon or anything light and a bit transparent. Oh, it was so wonderful to look at. So I decided I wanted to combine the dancer with those fabrics. And since my character Daniel is a dancer, <laughs> hey, let's draw him. And for the colors, I decided on a warmer scheme because, well, I like warm schemes. And in autumn, well, the colors are red, brown, yellow. And that got me inspired to draw the that fabric in different colors as well. So yay for yellows, browns, reds and so on. I sketched the base on a black paper with an HB pencil. Could be a bit softer. And I use my eraser if needed. And it was wonderful. <laughs> So I drew, I drew him um, first the big basic blocks of his body and since I already used some reference I could have a look at those and see how I drew those bodies moving. So that's quite handy, don't be afraid to use reference because it's so convenient and it makes the piece usually a bit better because you had reference and it looks a bit more grounded in reality. So after sketching with the grey pencil I slightly erased the grey lines and I worked way on the sk skin first because I thought it was quite important and it was basically the most left on the paper so I didn't have to go with my hand over all the colored pieces. So that's why I started at the left. Just like ink, um, these pencils can smudge if you're not careful because you have oils and, and fats on your hand. And if they touch the pencil colors, you can get a bit of smear uh, sometimes it, it, it just happens it, it's normal <laughs> especially with the softer pencils before you know it whoosh there's a smear so i um i was working on the body and then i went to the big piece of cloth with different colors. As you can see, I like to grab the pencils out of the tin um, simply because it isn't a very convenient box, I have to say, with, with Prismacolors. I, I like the colors on, on colored paper, but the box is just a stack of three uh, pencil carriers, basically. From, from plastic, so you have to be really careful not to bend it too much or else your, all of your pencils will go fly around on the table and everywhere and honestly I couldn't handle <laughs> that on one day so I had to be really careful and picked out the colors beforehand before I started coloring I did some small experimentations on the back, so I would have a look how it looks on the paper. After coloring everything and bringing back some black and, and such, here is the final result. I'm actually quite happy with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, <laughs> sorry about certain lack of footage, but Anyway, have a nice weekend and I hope to see you next week. Bye!